Hello and welcome back to the MyTrek.net game server. Yeah, I'm over here on the Exodus build. Uh, just chilling out a little bit. It's been a while since I've been able to get on. And I decided to get on a little bit and play around with designing some corridor layout wall styles and whatnot using vanilla. I'm using the vanilla resource pack because I don't use the modded packs for fear that if the modded packs get updated, they uh, may or may not break things. So I build in vanilla and then if I decide to go mod it after that I can but overall I uh, decided to stick with vanilla yeah anyways so as I walk around the exodus here I uh, have been fixing things so I've done multiple recordings unfortunately I keep running into things where I have to oh I need to fix that and then I get distracted so yeah yeah anyways with the overall style for the exodus I want to go with something that looks a kindred to the motion picture era enterprise even though we're not in that era. Uh, this is the disco version of the Enterprise class or Constitution class re-envisioned. So keep that in mind moving forward. Also keep in mind I am using vanilla blocks so a lot of what I do is based upon vanilla blocks and as such uh, they don't look all that great but they serve a purpose which is of course to give me a baseline to go from here as we uh, work our way up uh, a little bit up to the top of the start ship here. Um, keeping my eyes on the... Yeah, I'm going to keep this as a deck plan because I, th I mean it's a layout for the uh, corridor plan because I like it. So let's go ahead and go up here to uh, deck two. And this is kind of where I started the work at. This is the overall design that I'm going with. I do think it does look similar-ish in a remote way to what we see in the motion picture. Ideally, this texture with this little band right here would be fantastic. If I were to take this texture and add this band to it, um, much like what we see with, uh, where's it at here? I just had it. Well, we'll have to use this one because I can't figure out what the other one was. If you see how that band is right there when you do that, if this right here were this color, it would be a lot easier to design this, this ship based off of that because... Let's face it, uh, if that was that color with that band, it would look a lot more like you see on the motion picture era ships. Now, granted, the corridors in the motion picture ship are only six feet wide. Uh, this is nine feet. Yeah, you have more room so we can have wider corridors. But for the most part, this is the style I'm going to go with. I know it's not the greatest. I'm sure, you know, other people have better ideas and can find better things to do with vanilla blocks. But, uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is what I'm going with. And as the pack matures a little bit more and we do get some more blocks, I may switch these out for modded blocks. Uh, granted, our initial Star Trek pack, our, our resource pack, is just a updated version of the original pack that they used. I think it was the Han pack way back in the initial days of the Calcoon Enterprise. Um, we've never done much with it other than as new blocks were added because of Minecraft updates, we've added new textures, and that's it. Uh, haven't done anything else with it. And it sucks that we never developed independent era packs, like the TNG era, or the TOS era, or the motion picture, not the motion picture, but the post-motion picture era, or, you know, the TN, uh, Star Trek Next Gen, DS9, and Voyager eras. We didn't develop packs for those, and I really wish we had of, because it would have been a lot nicer, but by the time that option came along, we had so many builds on the server that would have needed to be updated, and ironically, could have been done, because guess what? I went through and rebuilt the Voyager and the Enterprise E, and could have updated the packs then. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so if we come out here on deck two, we come into the upper part of the lounge. This is the lounge area. This is the uh, pool room. And then we come down here. We have a couple of reading areas. And then, of course, down here we have a little bit of a kitchen. And then large rec area here for whatever. This would be the book room if I had bookshelves. Don't have bookshelves, so, yeah. We come out here on deck three and walk around on here on deck three. I've got the layout where I want it now. It's taken some effort to get this layout. I've redone this deck a dozen times, and I'm sort of kind of happy with it. We have a large room here for the captain's breeding room and mess. Originally, this was going to be the captain's quarters, but nah, decided not to put them here. And then we have the captain's galley. 
uh, computer room here, and then there'll be like a little computer lab right here. I believe it's a damage control locker. Okay, guess no computer lab. Uh, I can tell you that that probably has been added onto another deck, so keep that in mind. We have little access points here. Um, I think this is going to be a space toilet. I think this might be a space toilet. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out later. And then we have back here for state station. So on the other side, it'll be a security station. Let's go ahead and go on down to the next deck here real quick. Take a look down there. Pop down through here. And this is deck three, or excuse me, deck four. Walk through here. It's mostly crew quarters and whatnot. So kind of doubled them up. Took a little bit to get them laid in here because, you know, space being what it is and Minecraft being what Minecraft is. Uh, I want to go ahead and stay with a style or pattern that works and this pattern for these rooms usually works pretty good for the circular ships there are newer designs and whatnot that folks are starting to use so we'll keep that in mind that they have different room styles uh, i may or may not eventually uh, look into doing something new but uh, for me this works it's compact it allows me to get as much room in a sort small space as i can and uh, i like it you know others may not but i do that you are free to build your spaceship the way you want to build your spaceship. You do you, how you do you. That's the best way to say it. This is deck, uh, I believe, deck five. So we have escape pods on deck five here. Kind of flip around here. A little, I don't know sure exactly what that room is, but I'm sure it's labeled somewhere. Walk through here, and we have the phasers. So there'll be phaser room. Yeah. This is uh, a access ladder. Allows you to go up and down. Up here, if we come up here on the outside of deck four, we have a turbo or a turbo lift, a Jeffrey's tube. Goes along here. Again, dated blocks, I know, but we use what we have available to us. Coming on down here to deck uh, deck six, I believe. Yeah, this might be deck six. You can see I started working out laying this deck out, so it's a sort of kind of getting the columns in and whatnot. I may. This is a loading hatch. That's a cargo hatch as well. I'm considering getting rid of this corridor right here because they have access to the front of the ship from the side corridor here. So having this up here yeah, really doesn't really do much. So I'm considering actually removing this and just making this all one big car, uh, cargo bay here. It, I don't know. I, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm still in the process of figuring it all out. We've got the RCS thrusters, and if we come back along this corridor here, we'll have an airlock. Yes, it has working piston doors. So, yeah, and the setup for that's actually really basic. This right here is all set, spaced out for the, uh, I think it's called a T flip flop. I could make it a little bit more compact, but uh, I have the space, so I'm going to go and use it. Actually, I might actually come back and redesign this and make it a lot more compact and push it up against a little bit further up against this wall here. When we run into a problem, is it'll interact interaction issues. So if I have the space, I like to space it out a little bit. It prevents me from having to overthink it. I can make it pretty simple and whatnot. And this is, of course, just for this side here. It's a pretty simple design and it works really well. And it, you know, yeah, it can be done smaller. I just don't have the energy to do it. Come back through here. We go into the aft section here. We have, I think this is the gymnasium. Yes, this is gymnasium. Little basketball court for really short games of basketball. <laughs> basket, <laughs> basket, yeah. You got a little swimming pool here. Um, yeah, space is an issue. I could probably extend this room out way more because I have the room here to do it. Problem is when we get down to this deck, I run into this problem down here. I need a place to put parts of the RCS thruster. Now I can just forgo that and actually put that in that area over there, but I don't know. I may actually extend this out so that I can make so that I can make this a much larger court and include a much larger swimming pool, but I probably won't. I think I'm going to leave this as is. It is a design choice. Again, Minecraft in blocks and things like that sort of kind of limit how you do stuff. Square blocks, round hole. Yeah, make do. Come through here. We have the other lounge. Let's go ahead and go downstairs here real quick. I'm going to mope on down through here. 
Now, when I designed this, I based it off of what I saw in the motion picture, and then I sort of kind of used the blocks I had available to me to upscale it. And of course, again, Minecraft, you can't get an exact emulation of the room. So I went with the best that I could get, and this is what I came up with. I'm very pleased with it overall. It is a functional room. It looks good, and it, it does the job. I mean, you look at this, it it is what it is, you know. It sort of likes, reminds you of the uh, motion picture, but being, you know, slightly not the motion picture area. So come out through here. You know, a little corridor access, of course, more RCS stuff. Then we have the escape pods on this level. Given the size of the ship, I was able to add a double row of escape pods. So now there are, with deck 5 and deck 7 here, and as well as down in the uh, drive hall, there are uh, quite a lot of escape pods. So the crew can definitely, uh, you know, 400 plus crew members definitely can all get off the ship if they need to now. Then we have crew quarters up along the front here. And again, the cargo bay area. Fly along through here. Now, I think this is based off of a different series of deck plans kind of a it's a it's a it's a conglomeration of different deck plans plus a lot of other stuff i just want to go with myself because i think it looks cool and it seems like a good use of space oh here it is a little gangway right here that takes us back up to the next deck right here and then there's the airlock again so we are on the port side and Excuse me, we're on the starboard side. There is no airlock on the port side, and we can fly along here and take a look at that real quick. There is no airlock on the port side. So, or, ooh, we are on the port side. There's no airlock on the starboard side. Heh. <laughs> uh, man, I have built so many starships. I get lost on some of the stupidest stuff. But, uh, yeah, you know... <laughs> Okay, I challenge anyone. I, I think there's only one other person who has built even remotely close to the amount of ships I've built. And that person goes into absolute insane detail with their builds. No airlock. And so, yeah, he, that person is the only person I think can relate to me. So when I say yeah, it's easy to get turned around on your ships. But, yeah, the older you get, what can I say? You know, old farts get bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and drop on down here. This is uh, where the separation plane occurs. So if the ship has to separate and the saucer does have to go crash on a moon someplace, this is part of where it'll ha where it'll occur at. Um, this will most likely be the upper part, and then down there you can see where the hatches close and everything else. So yeah, it's all part of the close. Save the ship scenario. And uh, hopefully you're on the side of the ship that when it does separates, you don't end up, uh, you know, between the spots where, yeah, you just, you don't want to be in a bad location when your spaceship decides it needs to separate, like you're an airlock or, in this case, this room, because you don't have a lot of options. You can run back here, grab a spacesuit, and go in here. This is the actual control room for separating the ship. If they have to manually do it, they come in here and can do it manually. And of course, you know, stairwell down. Now, I could have put the stairwell on the forward part of the ship uh, on the neck. I put it back here. You do you how you do you, you know. If you want it in the forward part, put it in the forward part. I did go back in and, and actually add a uh, gangway or access point stairwell from up above to down below and that was a lot of fun to go back and retrofit that in as you can see right here i just kind of sort of shoehorned it in here because it seemed that it would be logical to have it and since we have the space for it i might as well do it and it really doesn't affect too much of the design uh did i did have to get a little creative with it because you know, again minecraft blocks you know you got to do what you got to do but overall it lays in really well does a nice job and of course doesn't really affect the overall design too much there's still a lot of space for the crew this is one of those little areas where you have to kind of make do with what you have i, I use carpet to kind of hide the hole and this room's a little bit smaller by about half because of the added addition of the stairwell and stuff but still it's you know it's a good sized little room for 
what the crew need to use it for. And come down here. Uh, this area here actually was just going to be a maintenance area, but now it can be used as a corridor because then you can come through here, come back and access the aft section of the ship here. Go through here. And again, this project is about a year old now. I've been kicking this around for about a year. And yeah, if we come through here, we're back to the aft stairwell. And then this is part of the venting system for the photon torpedo launcher. Yeah, let's go ahead and go down. We've got an EVA area here. And then this is the actual venting for the photon torpedo. It will come down and the, shift, the system will vent it out that way. I just haven't built the machinery for it yet. And come forward here. And then we're in the tarp upper torpedo magazine. Come back through here. And we're back into like a, you know, service maintenance area. There'll be some machines and whatnot in here, but you'll have a little area where they can access um, Jeffrey's tube ladder or come forward and use the stairwell. And this, of course, comes back here. And this is one of the, the reasons I did this is because the motion picture, you see Kirk and them exit the torpedo bay by going this way. And I had to explain it. This is one of those rare things I'll leave in here that is modded. But as things get changed and updated, this could actually break. The mod used that make this could actually break. Therefore, this would be broken and or not present or could cause a corrupted uh, this area that's chunked to be corrupted, which in an all consideration, I really should delete this so it doesn't cause a chunk corruption. But um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to leave it here for now. But yeah, anyway, so Kirk and them, they come through this airlock. I think I've explained this in another video. And they do their meet and greet, and then they go out this way here. Well, originally this was into the torpedo, uh, magazine, or torpedo launcher area. It just didn't make any sense to me, so I went ahead and retrofitted this in, and now it goes down and also goes up, and then we come into here, where we have that Star Trek Six scene where Scotty and uh, Spock and the Doctor are working on a torpedo and uh, discussing things and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. I did the best that I could. You can love me, hate me. You do you. How you do you. And we come down through here, and, of course, stairwell goes back around the, that side of the ship, which I'll show you here in a second. But uh, yeah, come back through here, have the, the warp core thing again. And then we have the stairwell that also goes down here to the forward part, which, ooh, that was an interesting leg spank. Starts the, uh, ah, don't do it. Um, yeah, we have that uh, Jeffrey tube right there. Very cool. And we're above the main engineering deck. So we're actually in the drive hall at this point. But yeah, yeah, and then I've been going back through here, kind of working the design out about how I want to lay stuff out. I think the next big area that I'm going to actually mock up will be main engineering here because I want to get it laid in and kind of working out the way I want to see it. I've got a lot of high detailed reference shots now from uh, watching the movie and other sources so I can actually get in here and lay out how I want to design this, this room. And it's, uh, it, I thought I was going to go with that style. Anyways, I have to come back through and do some remodel work because I was going to initially go with this style and I think I'm going to go with this style. Actually, I think I will go with that style. This one's just throwing me off because it's not uniform with that side. But yeah, so as you can see here, we'll just do it from here kind of get the feel for it. Now on this side, there's a tram that runs along the side here. Uh, if I do half slabs and kind of mess around with a little, I can get the tram in there. I don't really think the tram is necessary. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I can include it if I want. I don't have to. And same thing on this side here. But uh, yeah, this will be like a little control room right here. And of course, this is part of the turbo lift system. Is it connects to there and it goes around and comes over to here. Uh, if this side gets damaged or hit hard, it'll cut off the rest of the ship. So if this side gets hit, it's going to limit their ability to use the turbulent system until they get down 
to, well, I guess that's it. You know, I could move this further back and route it back here again as a secondary, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do that or not. You know, it's, you know, all about plans and layouts, and I don't think I want to change my layout. I've already spent too much time working on this layout, so I'm going to keep it as is. But yeah, we have a whole bunch more uh, escape pods here, and then on the next decks down, there's a couple more sets of escape pods. But overall, yeah. At this point, you know, it, it's basically finalizing the design and then getting into finalizing the layout for the walls or the look for the walls and the interior walls, the corridors, which I think I've actually got the corridors laid out now uh, design-wise. And next thing would be to come down through here and start labeling the rooms for what I want in the rooms and then start designing the systems and whatnot for each individual room, updating everything, and just double-checking the, the overall layout and style for the, for the build. And just, you know, come in and, and doing fine-tuned tweaks and whatnot. And seeing how far uh, I can take it in the amount of time I have left. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's one step at a time. Slow going, slow process. But overall, I, I have to say that uh, initially I'm pretty pleased with it. And I'm hoping that as I go on, I can come up with some cool and unique ideas for stuff and make it look really cool. Granted, I'm using vanilla blocks and I don't have the time or the interest to go really into detail like some of my uh, associate uh, builders do. And those folks are phenomenal builders and they have a lot of really cool ideas. And, you know, if they can improve on something that I design or I work on, I go for it absolutely go for it and same thing if you guys come up with a cool idea and i want to borrow it you better let me or i'll throw toilet paper at you anyways overall it's coming along i'm happy with it and i think what i'll do is i'll fly over to the voyager next uh not on recording here but uh and take a look at it because i know that <sighs> voyager a lot of work was put into that build and we'd like to sort of kind of move forward with it a little bit and and whatnot because it's a lot larger ship than the original voyager by almost half its size larger and i uh, it took a lot to lay out the deck plans and whatnot so the deck plans are laid in but i might want to tweak them a little bit redesign the core center of the ship just a tad which might facilitate some changes to things that have already been built but I got a little review it. I have to kind of get my mind sort of wrapped around what I want to do and see if it's even fundamental. I'm going to pull out the whole section I want to work on and rework it and see if I can tighten up the design a little bit um, going forward. There's something about that build that bugs me, and I have to figure out what it is, and I have to fix it. And then I'll feel a lot more comfortable about moving forward with it. Uh, I, typically, it's the way the spacing of the... the of, uh, the decks is that initially drove me bonkers and there is still a couple of things in there that I would like to fix but uh, you know if I do that it's going to alter the look of the hull and I can't do that so I have to find a workaround for it and I think that's one of the reasons why I burned down on it I don't know about the other folks but that was one of the reasons I burned out on it it was just <sighs> form did not meet function and it was it's really hard when two plus two should equal four but it equals five instead you know <laughs> how do you how do you rectify that yeah you, you get into decimals and it's, it's just yeah okay it's closer and you just kind of keep tweaking it till you, you're within the ballpark and that means compromises have to be made changes have to be adopted uh, new ways of doing things have to be implemented and whatnot and it can be exceptionally taxing and frustrating to do and it's one of the reasons why working on a prime build can literally lead to people quitting, period, just walking away and never coming back. Uh, it can also lead to uh, strife in the community and whatnot. So, yeah, prime builds are curse builds. They always have been. They always will be because there's so many people who are invested in a prime build and they, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an idea. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. And unfortunately, when you have 100 people wanting a piece of a pie that literally can only feed four, you run into some problems. And yeah, 
And that leads to a whole set of other issues and things that need not to be discussed. Anyways, come down through here. I've sort of kind of laid out the finalized style that I'm going to go with for the pod room here. Actually, where's my other stairwell? Oh my god, I don't have a stairwell going down from this deck. Oh, that's not good. It's so good, Moond. Okay, so I have to add a stairwell to this deck. i got to remember to do that. It probably... Where did I come out? Oh, man. Man, I think it's up here. Yep, there it is. There's a stairwell going down. We'll use this to go down. Okay. So, initially, I had done some rework with this, and then I decided I can put all the piping and routing above, up onto the roof here, as it goes up into here, and then it goes up into the, the engineering area. So, yeah, overall, this is the stylist thing I'm going to go with. I know it's really overthinking it. But, uh, yeah, maybe the purple or orange, whatever color this is, it's like an off orange. I might change that. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think this is how I'm going to lay it out. Because, why not? You know, it, it can be reworked later. This is hideous to somebody. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'm going with it. But, yeah, overall, that's pretty much it for what's going on here with the Exodus. I have done some work and whatnot, so I think I'll focus on the engineering department next. Maybe those impulse base to kind of get them flushed out a little bit more, even though I think about doing those, and I just instantly want to go lay down. Uh, the nacelle, and that's going to be something else that I know I think about, and I immediately lose interest in all things. So the nacelle is going to be a big one for me. I think... Thankfully, there's enough resource material that building the nacelles interior won't be an issue, but it's just, you know, doing it. <laughs> Anyways, this is uh, the Exodus build on the Minetrack.net game server. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you've watched this far, and God help you if you have, please hit that like button for me. And if you want to, drop a comment in the comment section. I do read all the comments, even the nasty ones, although they may or may not get posted. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.